Dear students, in this video we are going to see the concept checksum. Checksum is one of the error detection method we use in computer communication. See another method also we have seen in the previous video, previous lecture that is CRC, cyclic redundancy check that we add extra redundancy bit and find whether the packet is received properly or not. The concept here we are going to see checksum is um, actually it is implementing some mechanism uh, when we transmit the original data and at the receiver side another mechanism is followed another calculation through which the result from the result of the calculation we perform at the receiver side uh, we find whether the packet is received properly or not first let me go through this block diagram and uh, then i proceed with the numerical problems later the example two examples i'm going to discuss so let me take a few minutes to explain the concept from this block diagram here we have uh, the actual information that text video or audio are represented as a sequence of bits and these sequence of bits are uh, maybe in a, any number of group of bits uh, for example if we take a four bit num format so all these sequence are actually uh, represented as four four bit partition as a four four bit numbers and these four bit numbers all this original data is actually appended with the generated code this generator is doing some mathematical function that is adding all the data original data together and the sum the complement of the added value is appended along with the original data so that result also to be represented as a m bit so four bit number and this is called a checksum and this checksum is transmitted over the channel after the receiver receiving this checksum the receiver also performs some logical function here that is again uh, adding uh, all the received uh, data together and if the result of the addition of all the data are resulting 4 bit because i am sending here i am talking about 4 bit partition uh, 4 bits here so the result should also be 4 bits if we have all zeros of 4 bits then we say see if it is yes we say uh, the information is received properly otherwise instead of uh, all zeros if we get any logic as ones then not all zero the original information is received with an error so the information is discarded so that the receiver will not send acknowledge uh, uh, to the sender so sender will resend the copy of previously sent data so this is the example of uh, the checksum one numerical problem let us go through uh, which is given in the forest and textbook and here the data we want to transmit are these 7 11 12 0 6 so let me uh, correlate this with the block diagram so this is the 7 11 0 12 and 6 that is the number so all these information can be represented as a, a four bit number four bit number binary data and these are actually added together see here 7 11 12 0 6 are all actually added together the result is 36 and its complement value that is minus 36 minus 36 here uh, this 9 is representing minus 36 I will tell you how this 9 is calculated uh, that is the complement that is actually representing minus 36 so all this data the checksum and the transmitter over the channel and again after once the receiver received the checksum it is actually adding all data together and finally uh, from the checker that the uh, receiver performs some mathematical function if the result is 0 then it concludes the received informations are original there is no error unlike if we don't get zero any other numerical values obviously there is an error so how do we do that here see look at this these are the data we transmit so addition is 36 so the result of this generator should also be in the same bit format so 4 bit but here addition 36 when we convert this 36 into binary numbers we are getting this six sequence of binary numbers but we need to have four bit 
so for that what do we do here from leftmost side this one zero is taken to the least significant pin so that is what happening here so this one zero is taken here and these two values added together see zero one double zero and one zero is taken here zero one double zero is this one and one zero is this one added together is resulting you zero double one zero is actually six and it's one's complement value is nine so this six is the representation of 36 and 9 is the representation of complement of 36 that is minus 36 that is minus 36 and this is actually called checksum and this information is transmitted over the transmission medium and received data that is 7 11 12 0 6 and 9 all are added at the receiver side see all the information received at the receiver side and added together and its complement value will result as all zeros which means when we add all the numbers together we get 45 and this 45 converted binary number is actually 6 bits number so we have to have 4 bit as a result so to get the 4 bit we keep this 4 bit numbers and taking 2 bits to the least significant number here the calculation is performed here and the result adding these two binary numbers together will result as all ones and one's complement of this is giving zero which means the received data doesn't have any error so the data is accepted during transmission that the checksum is actually appended with the original data but during transmission the original data instead of 11 we get 10 during because of uh, electrical fluctuation and all here instead of 11 we receive 10 so this total will definitely uh, change here we won't receive get 45 and this conversion into binary and the complement will not result as all zeros so that we can find the received data is incorrect and data cannot be accepted so if the result is not all zeros if the result are not zeros then the information is discarded so another example is shown here so in this uh, rather in the previously we had a decimal number in this example uh, all the data original data to be transmitted are given as a binary numbers 8 bit numbers and 4 part so the concept is what at sender side the sender is actually performing the task of adding all the original data together so this is the sum value so the first data is actually added to second data is resulting as uh, nine bit numbers and we have to have equal eight 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 bit numbers so to take uh, this one here we add together resulting another 8 bit sequence so this result the addition of one and two part is actually added along with the third one resulting as this value and then the result of these three parts are added together the fourth one and the sum is actually this so this is the sum but the uh, but the concept is we have to transmit the complement of the sum along with the original data so this is the checksum uh, as a fifth part 8 bit number appended along appended with uh, the original data and transmitted over the channel so at the receiver side it is receiving all five parts and adding together and the final result we get as all ones so once complement obviously we take the complement here reverse process so once complement of the sum of all these numbers received at the receiver side is zero all eight all zeros eight bit zero that is all are eight bit numbers here also we are getting all eight bit zeros so the data is received without any error so the data is accepted in case uh, during transmission if uh, because of a voltage fluctuation if we get any changes here we will not get all zeros here so 
we find the error and data will not be accepted. The problem in checksum method is, see for example, if one word in the group of data, see. So here in case uh, instead of 11, the, uh, or dur while during transmission, uh, 11 is changed due to the external disturbances and voltage fluctuations, uh, 11 is changed into 10 and uh, 0 is changed into 1. But original data is changed, but the total when the data received at the receiver side, see this 11 is 10 and 0 is 1. See, anyhow, uh, this uh, addition of all these numbers will definitely give us the same value and the complement of uh, all converted bits will definitely give us all zeros, but the receiver will think that there is no error because of all zeros. But the actual thing is the data changed during the transmission because of some external disturbances. This is the problem we actually have in checksum. If one word is incremented and the value of another word is decremented the same by the same amount, the two errors cannot be detected. Even in another case, if all the words are incremented in the same number, all, otherwise all the words are decremented in the same number, even in that moment we cannot find the error. So CRC method is actually more stronger than checksum. We always implement the cyclic redundancy check method to find error during the transmission of the data. So this is about checksum. So we do all this addition and complement of the added value appended with the original data and transmitted and transmit uh, received values are actually again added together and the result of the sum the ones complement of the sum all zeros means then the data is received without any error this is the concept of checksum thank you